important today, uh, we never stop learning. And in something like this and talking about retirement and succession planning, uh, many of us, uh, as old as we think we are and how we feel, uh, don't feel that's part of our conversation all the time. Today, we will hear from speakers that bring depths of experience and innovative solutions for succession planning, knowledge transfer, and engaging an older workforce. I want to begin by saying it's it, two things. One, it's not all doom and gloom. We're here, uh, we're not alone in this uh, challenge. Nearly every community in North America is faced with an aging population and therefore an aging workforce. The purpose of this event is not to focus on the negative, it's about workforce planning. Our goals for today are to empower local employers with strategies and research to tackle the challenge of an aging workforce and to help employers redefine retirement by seizing the opportunities to engage retirement ready workers before and after they retire. A good cohort is now walking out having done their dues, but are they traveling out with the recipes? See, domain knowledge is one thing, but when the domain knowledge interacts with the specific business knowledge, the process knowledge, and the organizational value system and frames, that's where it really matters. When a company uh, loses an employee that has uh, knowledge that's valuable for that company, it then has to hire someone who has to relearn that knowledge and then implement that knowledge again. This knowledge is very valuable and often essential to the operations of a company, so holding on to it is key. And companies need to spend a lot more effort and time trying to figure out how to hold on to that. To take care of people, and they do take care of your customer, and they take care of your business. And uh, I would say for our company, that's absolutely true. Now, only 26% of employees are engaged in their job. Um, what can we do? How can we create that human connection? Purpose is a huge thing. Sometimes it's hard to find purpose in putting widgets on a door or whatever it might be, but purpose goes far beyond what you're actually producing. It's what you're part of. Who are you contributing to? Do you have, uh, can you transfer knowledge? Can you give something back to other people? That's a sense of purpose. It doesn't have to be altruistic uh, to the point of charities and things like this, but this is what people want. They want to feel like they can contribute, that they have meaning, that they have value. Unfortunately, employee benefits tends to be um, an afterthought for many advisors. Offering a benefit plan is key because it will allow you to attract and retain uh, the key employees. What we're talking about today isn't about employees first. It's about people first. That means it's about our customers and clients as well as the people who work in our organizations. So shift your point of view to look at things through the lens of your customers and the impact and opportunities on your business that are presented by that aging cohort. So our goal was really to focus on how can we provide our employees at all levels of the business change management workshops so our managers and our employees could be drivers of change. On top of that, we also wanted to focus on coaching and facilitating and mentoring. So our management teams all went through management workshops to be better coaches and better mentors to all of our employees. Becoming an employer of choice, bottom line. All the things that are needed to get there, empowering leaders, encouraging staff, celebrating successes, developing high performance teams, communicating to ensure staff awareness, be accommodating. It's not that difficult. Communications is the foundation of every great relationship. Communication builds trust. Trust generates commitment. Commitment fosters teamwork and teamwork delivers results.